One of the common scenarios working with GitHub or repositories is that there are instances when two people are working on the same file and once somebody has pushed their code and you're requested to do a pull, in that case, you feel like losing all your changes because you both are working on the same file. So to resolve that issue, we have a stashing mechanism built in to get extensions. And that is what we'll be exploring today. So here you can see that I have a file in a .txt and I've added one more line in this file. Now what I'll do is I'll be going to get extensions. And here you can see that I have taken another branch. Now here, the first thing that we need to do is check out the branch. So let's go ahead and do that. And as soon as you try doing that, it asks you reset local branch with this name. You can also go ahead and create a new one or you can simply go ahead and say check out remote branch. Now if you are going to do this, see you have following options over here available like local changes, don't change, merge, stash, reset, set as default. Now in this case, if you take a look at the files in this particular directory, you'll notice that there are two files. One is the existing one and the other one is a new file altogether. So you can see that if you take this or check out this branch, what will happen is your local changes will be overwritten. Now in order to avoid that, while checking out the branch, you have these options. So here you are saying that stash my local changes and then check out the branch. So now if I go ahead and say check out, it says get stash save and then it will start checking out the branch. Now let's click on OK. Now let's click on OK again. Here we have applied stashed items to working directory again. You can go ahead and say yes. Now you can see that it says conflict content, merge conflict in init.txt. Let's click on OK over here. And here it says there are unresolved merge conflicts. Solve conflicts now. You say yes. And here it says unresolved conflicts. And if you look at the work in progress on main stash. So here is the combined difference that it is showing currently. And now if I open up the Visual Studio Code Editor, you can see over here that there are changes coming up. So these are the stash changes that you see. Incoming changes are termed as stash changes over here in Visual Studio Code. And the one that is coming from the repository, and that is the updated upstream current change. So this is what we have right now. You can apply these changes like accept current change, accept incoming change, and you can say accept both changes. If you feel like, yes, there is no need to worry and I can go ahead with both the changes, you can click on this. But if you feel like, no, there is something which is conflicting with my line of code, you can go ahead and do compare changes. So when you will be looking into that mode, you can see that the first line says, hello world, and then there's an exclamation mark extra. So you can take it, you can accordingly modify it over here if you feel like we need that or this change made by another user. So if you feel like this needs to be added over here along with this, so here you get the difference. So let's say you want to take this line of code from the actual upstream changes and you want to merge it over here and you also like the exclamation mark. So what you can do is you can just put it over here, copy this line of code from here and just below this line you can put it and after that you just save this and after that you say accept incoming change and then you just need to save this and voila you're good to go so you can see that you have successfully merged the conflicting files and also taken a pull from the repository without losing any changes at all.